When thinking of where to find Europe's largest land mammal, an 800 kilogram beast, this might not be what comes to mind. My name is Dr. Alice Morell. I am a wildlife biologist and I have come here to this remote Danish island known as Bornholm in search for the European bison. An island nestled in the Baltic Sea might seem like a bit of an unusual place to find such a large animal, but this is exactly where to find them. After its extinction in the wild over a century ago, the European bison has recovered in numbers. Now they have been introduced to the Elmingen forest on Bornholm, and I'm here to find out why. Many people will connect bison with wide open spaces in North America, where the animals used to live in huge numbers before they were hunted to near extinction. What many of us might not realize is that a similar event took place right here in Europe. The European bison, also known as the Vicent, differs from its American cousin by living in forests rather than grasslands. They adapted a slightly taller and remarkably slimmer build, allowing them to weave through forests and extremely dense habitats. However, the loss of these wild forests, combined with overhunting, led to a decline in numbers. And in 1919, the European bison was declared extinct in the wild. The International Society for the Preservation of the Vicent was founded in 1923 to save the species from just seven founder animals, from which now an estimated 7,000 exist across Europe. I have come to Natterbornholm, a museum on the island, to meet Hannah, a local Welcome. biologist and nature guide who has worked closely with the bison project since its beginning in 2012. So Hannah, why was Bornholm chosen as a home for the European bison? First of all, the store villages that help us to create more natural areas here in Denmark. One part of the scope plantation will change in more natural direction. And the very store villages plant areas, which the European bison play a important role in the nature of the scope. The knives, the grass, the tramper, and on that way, they can create more and more lives for many new plants, 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 and plants, and die So they help us to change the nature, but for me, as a biologist, it's very important that we are with the three plants. They live in over 20 different European countries. The plants are saved, but they are still very true. They are not stammer from really few individuals, and they are near the family with each other. Og der betyder, at der er en stor risiko for indavl, og de er virkelig følsomme over alle mulige sødomme og parasitter. Den europæiske bison er et godt eksempel på det, at man på relativt kort tid kan udrydde arter, ødelægge deres livsteder, men det tager virkelig lang tid, og det kræver virkelig mange ressourcer og kræfter for at få naturen tilbage i dens oprindelige tilstand. These animals are just huge. A fully grown bison this size can measure up to 1.9 meters in height and three meters long. To sustain its size, this bison would have to eat up to 50 kilos of food every single day. So you can imagine how even a small herd would impact its environment as it breaks down trees moving through the forest. I'm now standing in Elmingen Forest. It's such a beautiful landscape with vast open spaces and dense habitats. The bison live here in a 200 acre area. Let's go find them. something really exciting. The bison have stripped the bark with their teeth. 
bison only have front teeth in the lower part of their jaw, which means they would have done this by moving their head in an upwards direction. And the sap is still wet, so they must have been here recently. This fallen down tree is known as a bison comb. The bison have been scratching against the roots, leaving behind bits of hair. Right now, it's springtime, and the bison have been losing their winter coats. I'm going to leave this behind in case any birds need it for their nests. Less than 50 metres in front of me, there are six bison. We've got a bull, a dominant female, and some bull calves from last year. Despite their size, they're hardly making a sound. And they're very camouflaged in the forest. The bison are continuously moving through the forest and they're searching for different types of food. The group itself are made up of seven individuals with intricate social dynamics in between the dominant female will be leading them in the herd. But there's huge big bulls as well that will join them occasionally, especially during the mating season. It's so incredible to be in front of such a large animal that's so intimidating, but absolutely stunning. Wow. This has been such an incredible experience learning more about this keystone species, the European bison. Not only does this rewilding project save the bison, but the bison also help restore nature's balance. Now, let's take a moment to enjoy these sights. Mm.